welcome Chip Foose to the Grand Booth today. Turn. <laughs> Thank you so much. How's everybody doing today? Well, what we're going to do is we thought, you know, I know that we both share a couple of favorite products. So the Trizec line is out and we Trizec got the new line Precision. Is incredible. It's going to change the way these guys have even thought about sanding. But let's start with Precision Masking. So some of the new masking tape that came out that we just got for the Waterborne. Yes. And it's it's kind of, you know, it's great for two-tone, but it's great for a lot of the bumpers and some things that we're seeing in Toyota now, some two-tones on the bumpers. It's also fabulous for polishing. When you're buffing a car, you put it on the edge of, of any of your panels. When you're buffing it, you know, if you use regular masking tape, sometimes that buffer will pull the adhesive out on the panel. And when you peel it up, you have to clean up that line. You don't get the line with this. So let's, let's explain a little bit about the difference of the masking tape. So typically we've had a crate back on our 233. Mm -hmm. And then now we've got a real smooth paper. Any tips or demos for how that really changes the way these guys are going to look at refinishing with having a smooth back on the tape nuts? Well, the one thing that's really nice, being that it's not a crate paper, you'll get less tape transfer if your paint wasn't dry all the way through and you put your put your, put your tape on it when you peel it up you see the little crepe paper you won't get that with this it's really nice and now you do a lot of some phenomenal paint thank you so, one of the things we've noticed that we just unveiled a car yesterday is that low build and the wet out effect so we can really see where we're laying our tape right um, how's that helped with some of the recent builds maybe that you've done well anything that's going to help you you want to take advantage of so we have used the tape it's been wonderful but like I say, the best trick I've learned with it is masking off the corners when you're buffing out. Peel the tape up at the very end, finish your buffing, and it's beautiful. It is a great product. It's, it's really for the waterborne. If you're spraying waterborne, and specifically in a collision repair type environment, it's, it's going to just compete. we got a right crisp, clean edge. We brought a sample of it for them um, just to show that you know, you got a typical bleed with some of the waterborns right now. With this smooth back tape, I'm getting a really crisp, clean line. So when I think about Toyotas and some of the bumpers from the two-tones there, it's just great for my guys. Well, if anybody has been up to the overhauling area where we're building a 2000, 2012 Chrysler 300S uh, in the South Hall upstairs, we pulled that car out yesterday, last night at the end of the show, and we took it over to Exotic Car Paintworks just across the freeway, and we painted it last night. We used the tape to tape it off sprayed the whole thing at uh, 7 30 this morning i had all the color work done the car was originally black we masked it off we saved the black on the top i sprayed it an orange stripe masked that off with the precision masking tape then we sprayed a silver and i created four different colors of silver doing the whole base and then breaking three other colors down to a real deep if you went to a, a one through ten the bottom of the car is probably about a number seven gray tone really dark a beautiful subtle blend it only takes place in about 14 inches at the bottom of the car and use the precision masking tape. I was supposed to clear the car, but at 7.30 I realized I have places I've got to get. Their head painter came in and uh, he's actually paint, uh, clearing the car now. It should be done, but it should be back here any minute. So we'll get it back over there. And that, that low build on the profile on that tape really lets me do a lot of those drop downs, a lot of two tones, and I don't have to worry about having to go back and do any cutting. Exactly, but uh, if anybody gets back up to the, to the overhauling booth, you're going to see the work and uh, how the tape worked just last night. Well now the best thing about, you know, with you're doing any paint, I can have the best painter in the world, but if my detail guy, when he gets it and rolls it out, so having the finishing, the Trizac system with that micro replication, I know we had the 3000, it changed the game. Now we've got the 5000, it's changing the game even better. Let's do a little bit of demo with the 5000. What, let's, let's what's open. amazing with the 5000, you can actually have 5000 scratches and not have to go to rubbing compound. The rubbing compound is what actually puts your swirls into the paint then you're going into the precision uh, swirl, the other polish, to, to get rid of your swirls. With the 5000, you never put the swirls in it. And that's great for a lot of shops doing a lot of, you know, maybe like high production. I may put 20 cars a day through the shop, and if I can save those steps and the detail as it rolls out of the booth, then that's just a lot of savings for a shop on the tail end and a lot more production and throughput. The other thing I just used the 5000 for, 3000 and 5000, is in the BASF booth. We've got a 49 Cadillac convertible that we just finished for the show. And all of the chrome work on that car, when we were blocking the chrome before we would get chrome, we actually have the chrome plater bring everything back in copper. We block it until we're very happy with it. We use the copper as a filler and a primer. We actually, just the way you're finishing a body, we finish all the chrome work that way. And on the bumpers, we actually finish those with 3,000 and 5,000 before giving them back to the chromer, and then he was able to dip them. I didn't think about using that one. That's an amazing. It's, it's incredible. Teaching something. I, every year, I pick up an extra tip to take back. 
Well, is there any chance we might want to just grab a scratch in a panel and pop that desk on and kind of show how smooth that is? Let's do it. Do you want to actually just do half of the panel? Yes, sir. That's you can tape it off. Show everybody yeah. the difference in how it works. This half. Now as he presses that down, that's that new non-crate bagging. You see how you get that smooth and you can just see through it, which is great for even labels. If you're doing doors, cutting in doors, want to save some labels. This, we've found so many uses for that in the shop. Let me call, let me call you. I just cut my job in half. Get a little bit of water on it. We're starting with 1500. We'll cut the panel flat. Then I'll go to 3,000 and 5,000, and then we'll polish it. Now, as I'm sanding, I may stop periodically, and I'm going to wipe the panel dry and make sure that I've cut it all of the orange peel. And when I say orange peel, if you don't know what that is, when you look at the surface of the paint, it's got these little tiny bumps, and that's in the in the industry is called orange peel. When you see a beautiful paint job on a car that just looks like a glass finish, that's because they've used 3M products and cut everything flat and polished it. I'll leave a little area that's high so you'll see what I'm talking about. Where I've sanded everything smooth or where it's dry and the black shiny spots are still here and it shows the texture that's what you want to get rid of is all those little shiny spots the other thing you want to do is make sure that your DA is riding flat on the panel if you go up on an edge like this you're just digging a hole in the paint now Chip, I know you've got a chance over the years to lose a lot of different um, grades of the 1500 to 3 to, to taking it down. One of the things we like about Trizac is with that micro replication, I've got the same grit all the time. So as I'm moving through and down to the resin, I'm keeping that same grade and it's giving me a nice even cut. Has that really helped out your detailer guys having that even Trizac cut on the panel? Well, if it's not even, you can't polish it. So. We see a lot in the shop where the guys will reach out over the hood and get a little, you know, the grit goes down, a little too much pressure, and that's where we see our comebacks and collision repairs, a little bit of burn back on the hood there. I've got the panel pretty flat now, and I'm going to switch to 3000. And what I'm doing with the 3000 is cutting out the 1500 scratches. It's this way. Oh, thank you. Now I'm going to put a softer pad between the two. I'm not worried about trying to cut it flat now because it's flat. What I'm worrying about now is just getting out the little scratches that are in there from the 1500. car all the 3m employees <laughs> any painters in the audience very good what kind of paint do you use <laughs> have you tried the 5,000 yet you're gonna love it This is a black panel. After it's all sanded, I'm going to show you a sample. I'll tape it off again, and I'll start with the micro finish rather than the rubbing compound. 
you can actually bring out the 5,000 scratches with just the microphone. My day is a three and five. Yes. If you don't know if you're even yet or not, you can tell when you dry the panel, you'll actually get a little bit of a gloss to it. I don't want to completely dry it. I want to actually finish with a little bit of compound on the surface. I don't know which rag is our cleanest rag. We're getting almost to where he's finishing up that panel. Any other questions out there for him while he's here, folks? Got a little bit. Yes, sir. Washing the pads, what do you recommend? Cleaning the pads and maintaining them. How do you normally clean them? I want well, your, your, there's your, your panel. I start with a new one. The car's worth it. It's an amazing thing. That's finish. it. Try now I'm going to unmask it and you'll see where I didn't sand or anything, just that, that surface difference. It's a little difficult to see. You might want to come up so you can actually get a reflection of the lighting system into the panel and look at it from one side to the other. There we are. I don't know if you can see the difference. The sanding it. It looks like, like I was talking about that orange peel, like the surface of an orange. It's glossy. And then it's like a piece of glass.